Most weeks in our One Good Idea segment, we talk with someone who's got a cool new product or a service, but how do they come up with the idea? Today, we're going to talk to a man who inspires innovation, who teaches young people how to identify and solve problems. Many of them are very big problems. Joining me now, Professor Bert Swersey, Professor of Mechanical, Aerospace, and Nuclear Engineering at the Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. Welcome, Professor. P pleasure to have you here. Thank you, Sue. I'm so happy to be here. How do you do this? You, you have a, a classroom of young people who are eager to innovate, eager to solve some problems, but take us through the steps. How do you do it? Well, first of all, we don't uh, teach them to, to innovate. We have to get them to regain their ability to be creative and to innovate because kids can do it automatically. Kids can do the impossible. So it's a matter of getting back into that attitude. So first you have to identify a need in other words, you put, there's a problem out there that needs solving, correct? Correct. And the big step is problem finding. Mm -hmm. And that's really harder than problem solving, but it's absolutely the first step. And then you commit to solving that particular need or problem, correct? Th that's correct. And, and that takes a lot of support. We have to support uh, the students. We have to support everyone and not shoot down ideas. So it's, it's a matter of playing angel's advocates instead of devil's advocate and shooting everything down. And I think that's where this hat comes in. And actually, this is the hat that you wear around the classroom. You wear it backwards, and well, you start out with the, the what. OK, first, yeah, the first thing, the biggest, probably the biggest secret of, of being innovative um, is to separate what's needed and mm -hmm. from how we're going to do it. And, and, and too often we really shoot down our own ideas in our heads before they even come out mm -hmm. because we, we don't know how we're going to do it. So the first step that I have the students do is turn around their hats and, you know, maybe you can join me on that, Sue. Well, and in my business it's all about the hair and I'm not sure whether it's going to work with the hair. <laughs> okay. <but laughs> okay, you can do it. Eventually, eventually you end up with the, with the how something is going to be done, which takes them through the process, correct? Well, no, we, we start, we, we, we don't start with how, we start with what. Right, but then eventually you get to how that is going to be accomplished. Correct, but that's only after we really say, this is what we're going to do, this is what's needed, this is what the user needs, this is what will be ideal, and that's what we're going to do. And I know that the students have come up with some fabulous things, and we appreciate your spending time with us, Professor. Okay, and I'm you can, happy. You can learn more about that and the program and the professor and uh, other One Good Ideas. Visit our website at cnbc.com. This is actually his hat. We have to return that we'll to him. We'll give it back to him, that's for sure. Up next, needless to say, uh, it's been a tough day for the... I'm just checking the markets for the bulls. Yeah, we're still down uh, triple digits.